Uh, hello, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to uh, Friendship Devotionals tonight, and uh, it's uh, another beautiful day that the Lord has given us, and uh, it's just a, a blessing to be in His house, and uh, we just hope that uh, we reach someone tonight that may need to hear these words and uh, maybe encourage you and just to uh, help get you closer to the Father. And You know, His, his Word is probably better than any prescription that you can get filled. Cause it's uh, he's a he's a healing God and he's a he's a trusting God. If you have any kind of issues, just trust him and he will he will get you through it. Uh, tonight I want to read from uh, Galatians chapter three and uh, chapter four. But first, I'd like to pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day that you've given us and. And dear Lord, I just we just want to look to you for strength and guidance and get us through this period of time that what what we're going through with our country and the issues that's going on right now. But but dear Lord, we know that you're in control. Because dear Lord, your word says that you create nations and you destroy nations. And dear Lord, we just put our trust into you that that our nation will will turn to you and get back in line with your word father and because your word says that you will heal our land if we put our trust into you and, and live by your word and dear lord again i i just pray that someone out here might hear these words out there tonight that might hear these words and just lift them up dear lord and just just touch their hearts and their minds and their souls and just just bring them close to you father and dear Lord, again, we put all of our trust into you. And dear Lord, we love you and we trust you. In your precious and holy name we pray. Amen. Like I said, I'm going to be reading from uh, Galatians uh, chapter 3 and then uh, chapter 4. And I may have some other verses, but we'll get there when that time comes. Uh, for you... This is uh, verses 26 through 29 in chapter 3, and I think it's uh, 1 through 7 in chapter 4. This is from the pen of the Apostle Paul. Uh, you know, some of the mysteries and stuff that got revealed to him out in the desert for those three years. For you are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus for as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ there is neither Jew nor Greek there is neither bond nor free there is neither male nor female did you catch it there is neither male nor female when we're in Christ for you are all one in Christ Jesus you know there's another verse over in first uh, Corinthians uh, chapter 12 it's, it kind of goes along with with these verses what it says it's a little different but not a lot verse 13 in first uh, Corinthians chapter 12 for by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews, Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one Spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. And then to continue on in uh, Galatians 3. There is, first starting back at uh, verse 28, or excuse me, 29. And if you be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed, and heirs according to the promise that was made to Abraham. 
That's starting with chapter 4. Now I say that the heirs, as long as he is a child, differeth nothing from a servant, though he be Lord of all. But it is under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the Father. Even so, we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his Son, made of a woman, made under the law, and to redeem them that we that were under the law, that we might receive the adoptions of sons. And because we are sons, God has sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Wherefore, thou art no more a servant, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God, an heir of God through Christ. You know, the, the Lord has told us that we are no longer slaves, but now sons and daughters in Christ. We are to call out to our Heavenly Father because we are genuinely His sons and daughters because of the blood that Jesus shed for us on the cross of Calvary. You know, God's Word is always true. God's Word is always alive. It's a living Word. And it's just amazing what was revealed to this apostle in the desert for three years. You know, and he is called the Apostle of the Gentiles. It's a different plan that the Gentiles are under. And, you know, we thank God every day for his plan. He's in control. And, and like his word says, you know, we're, we're adopted in. But it was through his blood on the cross and the Holy Spirit that dwells with us that makes us all one whether we be Jew, Gentile, slave, free, bond it don't matter if you're a believer and you believe the gospel then you're one with him we're all one with him thank you